Good morning. Happy Friday, 28th February. First and foremost, I hope everyone is doing well. I'm around 10 days late on this video. However, let's get to it. So for the past six months, I've been harnessing the energy of different platforms when it comes down to the Comex feed. I think I mentioned this later on last year and I have many of instruments <clears throat> in which I'm putting my energy and I have been putting my energy into to get myself into the next arena overall I've been in this area of the markets for quite some time and if you're not pushing yourself to delve in and being distracted by the generic protocols, then there's gonna be a loop, anti-navigation loop, of continuously going back and forth. I'm extremely, extremely, extremely unenticed and extremely bored by the entire arena. I stepped out of a certain area of the game a few years ago and just went to experience different avenues of life. And getting back to it, I can never take one back step. And the one back step has been mentally saturated by all of the generic protocols, generic data, generic fundamentals, generic technicals, generic pieces of quote unquote knowledge that are so basic to this game. This game is consisted of pure clarity and that pure clarity starts from within. And if the clarity is unmatched, mental, emotional, physical also, then there's never gonna be an end game of success. So for me, I'm in a new, completely new chapter of my life and it took me a lot of hell to get to where I am now. Believe me, in the last 18 to 24 months, it's been some of the hardest challenges I've gone through, some of the hardest depths I've had to face and come out of without relying on any help because no one, there wasn't many counterparts for me to actually rely on. I had to do this all of myself. And um, now everything makes sense in hindsight from my journaling, my writing, my experiences, my back testing outside of the market and now my clarity in the market, When it, especially when it comes down to where my energy goes, who do I talk to, who do I aspire to be like, which is very, very minimal, and where do I want to go? my whole world view and perspective of my travels has assisted me greatly on my next arena, my next point of call is, okay, where have we been? What did we enjoy? What didn't we enjoy? What serves this present moment? And about, you know, what serves <clears throat> your mental, physical, your peace for where you want to be? in the next coming chapter because we are in a new chapter right now. I told everybody 2025, 2020, uh, sorry, 2030, 2029, 2030 is going to be another chapter of 2020 to 2025 or, you know, mid-2019, uh, mid COVID, 2025. Now we're in a complete, we just changed chapters. So if you haven't really navigated, okay, what happened in the last five years? What did I learn? I was super conscious in 2019. I knew exactly what was going to go on. And now I've gone even deeper. To others, it may not make sense as to how I've lived my life in the last two years, but sometimes you get fed up with what you know. It's a blessing and a curse. Now, I've added all that construct up, ready for the complete financial turn in the next, in the next five years. But to be ready for that financial turn, you have to add up previous journaling, previous protocols, your resources internally 
and go from there. It's not all about what happens on the charts and just talking back and forth about psychology. Psychology is a lot deeper. I've got deeper avenues of psychology, but it'll just go way over people's heads. So I'm just going to keep the majority of pieces of information to myself <clears throat> for now and continue in my own league. Now, um, going into this chart here, we're looking at XO chart. XO chart, you can download this on the Mac, you can download on the Windows. Okay, go to Connections Manager and dxfeed.com is going to give you a list of, as you can see here, stocks, ETFs, crypto. So you can look at all of the stuff presented, the bids that ask from Coinbase, buy a bit, Binance, etc., etc., and actually tap into different arenas. Um, I'm using Comex right now. Here are all the Comex platforms. So I pay for Comex and you plug Comex in through DX feed into XO charts. I'm a few weeks late on this, guys. But there's really, I cannot, I cannot, my soul will not allow me now to even do this whole chart game. I've absolutely murdered it for years and years and years. I've done I've done the risk rewards, I've done the signal, I've done the talks, I've done the I've done the giving people advice, I've I've done the pre COVID narratives, I've done this, that and the other, and I've had to take time to get ready for the next five years, as I did in COVID. I took time, I got out of London, I, I took time to see what was going on. I took time for my intuition to piece it all together. I've done this one and I'm more serious. I'm waking up angry every day. I'm actually pissed off. I'm not going to be spreading information and giving people, you know, all of this this info, which I have done before. Hey guys, it's going to happen. Hey guys, la da da da. Hey guys, XRP by this. Hey guys, buy if you. I am really, really, really now putting all of the information into myself for my own wealth. We've made riches in the last ten years. Now we're going for the wealth concept. When you're looking at, uh, you know, being serious on an investment protocol or level, you can't be showing them a trading view on MT5. <clears throat> here we have all of the different metals this that and the other and i have basically plugged in the gold concept and i've pulled through some i put all of this on myself at all my templates um <clears throat> i was navigating through atas terminal before but that was only windows and because um, i'm going to be doing a little bit of traveling right now and going off the radar i um stuck with a mac and exo charts is the one to do so. So what I'm, I'm what I'm trying to get across here is the data that's coming in right now. The price is a little bit different, yeah, but all of the price action is the same. Why? Because we're pulling in the data from the Comex Gold field. And if I was to turn on the uh, Dom, okay, let's have a look at the Dom depth of management here. Okay, so where is Let's look at the one ounce, see if it's going to give us a one ounce delivery. Okay, the one ounce delivery here. This is the point of call, point of action at the mid region. Got a bunch of bids ask coming through right now. So we need to go into uh, this is a whole different this is a whole different game in a spectrum. I'm just giving you a quick overview of what we can see for this navigation. And you can't get any of this really supplied to you on trading view if you're using Oanda, FXCM, this, that, and the other, or even using the volume on trading view is not significantly accurate. Why? Because it's pulling the vault. The volume is right. number one, it's coming from the depth of field here. Then the depth of field is translated into the chart work, i.e. candles or bars, whatever you want to call it. Then the volume and a TPO is directed from this. Now, this is the feed only from the COMEX. You can get COMEX from London, COMEX from China. Uh, you, you know, you, if you're looking at, if this is what I'm trying to say, if you're looking at a feed or piece of data or volume from Oanda, all of, all of the retail brokerage are more or less, the whole casinos there, are more so, um, they are owned by higher COMEX fields or higher, you know, the big institutions. That's why if any institution sees these guys on funded accounts, they're not even going to look at you because they more so will probably have the umbrella to own them. And, you know, this, that, and you, that's their business. But you can't get real-time good graphic of data when it comes down to the volume. 
or real VWAP or this, that, and the other, because it's 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 more or less a submission that comes from here, goes to here, and if you look in FXCM, all of them data are completely different. So you actually just get in a, a illegitimate overall feed. Now cross continuum. If I look at what's going on on gold, I was supposed to come out and bring this out on the Monday. It's my birthday week. That's no not no excuse, but I had a few things going on over the weekend and my entire journey <laughs> for this week was going to be looking at a gold saturation of shorts and we've also got point of calls at the mid range here so we can see we can see highs being made through we've got a point of calls here which we can rely on we can rely on the volume point of call point of call factor point of call so if we look at some of these points of call I'll go from uh, more or less the mean average going through there. Uh, we've had a push high. We came lower over here as well. But also on so the day, the day we got a nice point of call in the mid range, same mid range. We've came back in. We've took money from here. So a lot of saturation has come over uh, into this area. So we've got one, two. Then we've came out. We've came back in to test that and pick up. This is where like real liquidity can be actually seen. I don't really give two fucks about anybody talking about liquidity on like an MT4, MT5 platform, this, that, and the other. They're all buzzwords. And then the thing is with this availability, guys, is when you learn these, these concepts correctly and where the data is actually coming from, and then you can see, oh, it opens up your perspective. You can't, you can't even do a reverse turn. And you look at how the whole arena, you know why they're losing. You know that they're all telling lies. You know that they're absolutely, it's, it's kindergarten. I'm going into a different arena of the mature level <clears throat> of higher money. And that's where I'm going. I'm setting this up. I'm, I'm leaving where I am right, um, on Monday. And I'm going on a mission. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's one of those ones. I've studied for quite some time. And I'm just giving you an overview of what you can really see and what you can digest and what you can additionally add to what you already know, you know, on the chart and get more stability, more confidence. So anyway, we came through, we picked up the arena of volume point of point of control here and then flooded to the downside, push back up. And as you can see, another flood there, we came through on the open pushed through this arena, market opened up once again, took the volume into the lows. Uh, yesterday was quite significant. <clears throat> I was watching this last night. Um, nice VWAP there, gorgeous VWAP follow through. And again, in the mid range here, we've pushed through, we've navigated. This is the open navigated. Look at, look at the high there. This is the point of control. Okay. The highs tapped in the point of control and we've rolled over once more. We've got one, two, three. And this is probably looking, I don't even need to look at all of the past. I need to look at like the last few days on an intraweek, um, <clears throat> intraweek perspective. But over here on the 15 minute time frame, there were some gorgeous shorts here. This is easy. This was just like sell, bang, bang, and what, what not. So obviously it's Friday. I'll be catching up with a lot more of this soon. This is all I'm going to be focusing on now uh, because the capital wise, what I'm going to be handling by the end of this year is going to be substantial and this is all i'm going to be focusing on guys i'm not going to be looking at anything else so um i'm just going to run it through as time goes by and then open up some other mental concepts going forward because that's that's it that's all you really need so um i'll chat to you soon